NATO forward holding base Senelaga. Servicemen and women with the tools of their trade are coming from across Europe to take part in exercise Steadfast Defender. For the British Army, this stage of the exercise is all about getting personnel and their vehicles pushed forward to Poland. Having started in the UK, the vehicles were shipped to Emden, Germany, before being driven to Senelaga. And 7 Brigade, known as the Desert Rats, are the spearhead of NATO's very high readiness force. We are predominantly in the uh, Foxhound uh, and Jackal vehicles. Uh, so we would move slightly behind a recce screen uh, forwards uh, as the spearhead force. We're sort of halfway to Poland now, so the next phase of the exercise sees us moving from here uh, via Holtzdorf uh, into Poland, where we're going to link in with the rest of the brigade, uh, as well as troops from Poland and Spain. Uh, for the first phase of this exercise, uh, the challenge is logistics, uh, getting us deployed thousands of people and hundreds of vehicles from the UK to Poland. The British contingent are just one piece of a 90,000 personnel jigsaw, taking part in NATO's biggest exercise since the Cold War. We're facilitating uh, their movement through the entirety of Germany. It's over a thousand kilometres uh, in distance, which is quite a logistical effort to ensure that they can get there, uh, ensure their vehicles and the people arrive in good order uh, to be able to conduct the exercise itself. So they haven't even reached the start line yet, so it takes quite a lot just to get them there. The biggest thing to describe is, is, is just the physical scale of this activity. When you're operating on somewhere like Soldiery Plain, uh, you roll out of your camps or almost into your back garden, as it were, on, onto Soldiery Plain, you exercise around um, sort of 30, 40, 50 kilometres and you come back in again. Um, here we're talking about operating over a thousand kilometres just to reach the start line. Upon arrival in Germany, each vehicle is inspected to ensure it's up to standard and ready to move on. Corporal Thomas Bennett was repairing the clutch on an ambulance when the next packet of vehicles arrived in Senelaga. So what we've got here is a vehicle park um, and the vehicles come in packet order um, and they normally consist of about 30 vehicles and then like myself uh, being a class 1 mechanic, I have my small team, what you can see behind me, uh, will go through the lines. The purpose of what I'm doing is, is what's called a, uh, a 21 point check, it's a safety check. So I'll do like, I'll check the brakes, steering, uh, suspension, seat belts, make sure everything's all in good order, ready for the next leg of the journey. Personnel don't just have one role and must remain battle ready. It goes from this nice light environment to pitch black, you see a little bit of dull, dull red light in front of you, you're not clamouring around your, 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 um, your tools, um, your, your weapon system's right next to you, um, and then when things are going off in the, in the training serials, you'll have uh, you know, gunfire in the background, you know, if you're going to get bumped, uh, so you, you, that's your position getting attacked. You'll have to down tools, turn light off, and then, then go into uh, positions to then do the soldiering role. So it is quite literally, you're going from one job role to another as a, like a flick of a light switch. And Senelaga remains the key to getting troops across Europe. Yeah, so NATO forward holding base Senelaga is quite a, a jewel in our crown. Um, it's, a, it's a base that, um, that, that we disinvested in because we obviously left Germany uh, and we closed it, closed it down to a, to a very small capacity. But as you can see from how we're operating here right now, uh, the strategic location of it, the fact we've got ready access to a training area, uh, the, the easy access to the road networks and the rail networks and the, uh, the, the airports close by, we're using all of those to bring in uh, seven uh, brigade into theatre and then, and, then, and then push it forwards. So it, it's a real great example of how this strategic location is absolutely perfect for us and something that we, we absolutely need to maintain. This is just the start of Exercise Steadfast Defender, but the British Army has proved its continued readiness to deploy across Europe. Harry Adams, Forces News, Senelaga. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.